Um, now, I want, you to, I want to see the next uh, superstars from St. Paul, Minnesota, on, on the stage at the Irish Rap. So Natalie and Cormac are up in St. Paul. Uh, they have made sure at the Celtic Junction Arts Centre, which is absolutely phenomenal, a phenomenal uh, Irish centre with, with a link back to Armagh, uh, a link back to Ireland and our dear friends in, in Ianach Waka there, which is unprecedented, unparalleled in, in Irish American. So the depth of the work they do in St Paul is absolutely fantastic. The scale of the work they do, but of course, uh, Natalie, you kept going during the pandemic. You kept going, stronger than we ever. Did. We did. We kept going. Uh, one of the secrets, of course, we're a, a kind of a, a two-horse institution, and if I can't do it, Corman can. If he can't do it, I can. So we uh, we became a production house. Really, we we settled into video work and started to produce a lot of our local community, the artists. We came together and did um, full-on stage productions and released some of them as we went on. Uh, we are doing the social justice series, which is part of the mm -hmm. event we did with Arma. Uh, we focused on the BIPOC voices, on Native American voices, and we've got another one coming up that's going to focus on LGBTQIA voices okay. to really try and uh, to raise those and to give them uh, a platform and to give them a moment to, to talk about their issues and, and how they relate to Irish culture. And then of course, what we're mostly buried in is building an outdoor stage. Uh, so we have a gorgeous, 60 foot mural that is on the south side of our building and Cormac actually had to dust off the sawdust so he could come here and join us tonight because he's been building the stage outside. It's the uh, complexion, the Irish complexion's <laughs> gotten lots of sun this week. I'm pale, he's got all the sun. Um, so we, we're gonna keep our community going. It really mm -hmm. is uh, everybody coming together to do that. The dance school, the music school, uh, the theater work, we have tap show. Um, that's part of our organization, and we're producing a concert uh, tomorrow night. Really great music wow. coming out on live stream, but we'll be outdoors shortly. Well, we, you know, we we have no doubt you used the word reinvention, and, and it, it's on, you know, like no one else you reinvented your, your offering, and it's been fantastic. But you and Cormac need to be involved in performing with people. So we want to see this stage. I mean, you're both fantastic, uh, you know, and you're both, you're both people, people, people. So Cormac, when, when will this damn stage be finished? It's not going to be finished if you're in here talking to me. Exactly. No, we're, our first show is going to be on May 15th. We have a local okay. band called the Wild Colonial Boys. Um, we did a little outdoor series. The only kind of live concerts we did last year were in September. We did a live series and they were kind of the headliner of a 12 act, three day series. Um, we're not going quite as big as that in May, but we're going to uh, we have a couple of other artists that are going to perform earlier in the day, and then the Wild Colonial Boys are coming back. They're just a great variety of trad and sing along, and it should be a lot of fun. And we'll live stream that show as well. Well, uh, but, but the outdoor stage is coming together. Well, look, I, I I appreciate that. You know, we have huge respect for what you've done up in St Paul. Owen McKiernan, of course, a great hero in Ireland as well. Um, you know, we don't like praise and dubs. You know, in fact, you know, we, don't, we had a Corkman on earlier on, that sort of stretched it. But uh, we want to thank you for all you've done. You're a river dance veteran and superstar as well. So Natalie and Cormac, thank you very much. Keep up the good work and I hope to see you in St Paul at some stage. Good luck.